What are five leadership lessons from Michael Jordan? What are they? Let's find out. So by the way, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Lots of great videos coming up. Don't miss out. Number one, be a role model first. Right, Michael Jordan says you gotta earn your leadership every day. Remember, you control what you can do every day. You cannot control your surroundings, you cannot control other people, but you can control what you focus on. Yeah, so he also says that some people want it to happen, some wish it to happen, others make it happen. For you as well, make it happen. Lesson number two, build a great team. Right? Teamwork is an absolute must to get ahead in your career, in your life, and all your leadership activities. And Michael knew this because early in his career, he was the individual superstar, right? The best scorer in the league from a very young age. He was so great, but he couldn't win any championships. He couldn't do it. It wasn't until he built a great team, he started to trust the team as well, that it all happened and he won the six championships that he won. So he said the following. Talent wins games, but teamwork and intelligence wins championships. So for you as well, make sure you build a great team. Lesson number three, believe it's possible and focus on the next step. You don't know what you're capable of until you really go for it. I mean, think about it. There must have been something in your life that you thought was pretty much impossible and you made it happen anyway, correct? And Michael was a big, big believer in this, yeah? So Michael Jordan says the following, one day you might look up and see me playing the game at 50. Don't laugh, never say never, because limits like fears are often an illusion. Now he didn't play at 50, yeah, but he bought the basketball, he bought the Hornets, right? And he's the owner of the Hornets and he said he could still play with his players, but he doesn't want to demotivate them actually. <laughs> yeah, and when you have this ability to look at things that this could be a possibility, then you got to focus on taking the next step. Yeah, and that's what he focused on every single time. After he looked at what is a possibility and then what is the next step that I can take? So he says the following, I had always set short-term goals. As I look back, each one of the steps or successes led to the next one. So you as well ask yourself, what is the next step that you can take towards your vision? Lesson number four, challenge your team. Challenge your team. He was amazing at that. As you know, he's very famous for that, right? It kind of comes with, it comes with the mindset that how really is steel hardened? Yes, it's hardened in the fire, right? It comes with a mindset that tough times create strong people. Good times create weak people, right? We don't become stronger until we get challenged. So here's what he said. He said the following, winning has a price and leadership has a price. So I pulled people along when they didn't want to be pulled. I challenged people when they didn't want to be challenged. So for you as well, how can you challenge your team to move to the next level? And leadership lesson number five, accept failure, let it drive you. Yeah, Michael says the following, he says, I can accept failure. Everyone fails at something, but I can't accept not trying. If you don't try, you don't know if it's gonna work or if it's not gonna work. How can you ever figure it out? So what is a new thing that you and your team have to try that you haven't tried and tested out yet because you're afraid of failure? Yeah, usually the more you fail, the more your success you will have as well. You know what it's called, right? Failing forward. <laughs> we gotta go for it. So one of my all-time favorite quotes by Michael Jordan is the following. I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. Let these words guide you. Keep moving forward. Keep failing forward. So comment down below one time, what is the biggest leadership lesson from Michael that you want to apply to your leadership right away? Which one is it? Share it down with me. I'd love to see it. Yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
If you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. There's more great stuff coming. <laughs> yeah, and most importantly, of course, as always, I really look forward to seeing you in the next video.